For some people, ChatGPT has become as essential as Google Apps in helping to navigate their daily tasks. Bringing your Google Drive documents directly into ChatGPT could be a real productivity boost. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload Google Drive files to ChatGPT. First, you have to visit ChatGPT.com and make sure that you are log logged in with your account because without that, it's not going to work. Nextly, you have to click in this icon of the attached files. From here, you have to select connect to Google Drive. Click on that. Now it's going to take you to the sign in option of the Google Drive page. From here, select an email, select uh, Google Drive. Now, ChatGPT wants to access the Google Drive. From here, you have to just simply click continue because if you do not give it access, it's not going to work. Okay, now the connection has now been set up. Okay, to add a file from the Google Drive, so as you can see, for the first time when you're connecting, uh, ChatGPT is automatically going to open the Google Drive. For now, I'm going to close it. Again, for the next time, if you wish to access it, you have to just simply click on this attached file. From here, you have to select Add from Google Drive. Now, it's going to load everything from within the Google Drive. So, you have to just simply go ahead and look for the file that you wish to add that into the uh, ChatGPT. In my case, I'm adding this search engine ranking factors. That is the second edition. That is a PDF file. So I'm going to also summarize or uh, give it a command from or a prompt for it. The prompt will be summarize it for me. This is as simple as that. You may be asking what files does ChatGPT accept? Okay, uh, to put it in simple words, Google Drive is going, uh, ChatGPT is going to access inside the Google Drive, the documents, slides, or the Google Sheets that you have. That's it. Now, the same process can be applied if you are inside an Android phone. Um, let me, I have, I think I have the screenshots from the mobile device. Again, you have to make sure, uh, first you have to download the ChatGPT application inside your mobile device and then make sure that you are logged in. Secondly, you have to uh, uh, click on this, that icon and now again go ahead and select connect to Google Drive. Followed by that, you have to select an email and now again go ahead and access that the same way that you, are, you have given access to the PC. And now from here, you have to go ahead, select a file from the Google Drive and now Again, the process is, is as simple as that. This is how you can uh, go ahead and connect the ChatGPT to the Google Drive. Now, in case if you wish to uh, disconnect it, uh, in Google Drive, it is really simple. Again, just uh, click on the same icon. It's going to, the option of the disconnection will be available from here, and then you can just simply disconnect. Now, in PC, if you want to disconnect the ChatGPT, you have to click on your profile icon, go to the settings, Followed by that, go to the connected apps. From here, you can see the connection or the connected apps. Just simply select disconnect. And now the connection has been severed from the Google Drive. This is as simple. I hope this video was helpful to you. For now, have a nice day and goodbye.